Hope you enjoy, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, this this video is not an anime or manga review at all. This is going to be one a Doctor Strange movie review. I haven't done a doc done a movie review in a while since I, since I did them. Not a lot of people will watch them, so I had to do one anyway. Because one of my friends, one of my friends was mine was praising me, say I should do a video. But I decided to humor him anyway, because you know I like his stuff. He's also a reviewer, and I like the way he does his stuff. Anyway, let's get started. Now, Doctor Strange, you know, it's the Strange, the movie, you know, it's definitely, it has good work. Benedict Cumberbatch does make a good Doctor Strange. I really like the way he is, the way he's serious. His portrayal of the character was pretty good. But I will say this, you know, he was pretty good. Now, we get to see, the, hey, the, the whole idea of Doctor Strange is to introduce magic into the DC universe, to the, sorry, to the Marvel, to the Manic Universe. Now, we already know that there are other worlds beyond existence. Like, for example, uh, for the four movies we know of the of the Dark Realm, of Asgard, or the Odenheim, you know, or etc. You know, this is to introduce that fact into magic. We also get to see the character and his origins. Now, this takes place in between in the between the Marvel movies. Like it is, it's in its own universe. It's in its, it's in the Marvel universe, but it's in its own story content. Like like Doctor Strange was doing his own thing while the Avengers were doing theirs. This way, you don't. That's why you don't get to see him in that. He was training. Working hard on his skills, polishing him so he can become the next Sorcerer Supreme. And well, basically, we get to see that there are a lot uh, to t Easter eggs, touch the comics, his cultural levitation, his eye go big Easter eggs. Then we get to see Dormammu. He Dormammu is the big bad of this out of this movie, but the true big bad is Cassilian. You can think of him as the Baron Mordo oh, of this or of the movie, being a person who was a was an apprentice like the ancient one, but fell into dark magic and became corrupted and decided. And to end the war oh, by giving it to Dormammu. This, before, this, of course, cannot be allowed because of the ancient one and strange and strange and strange ain't agrees and they help help try to stop him and from destroying the world. You know, we're on giving it to Dormammu. There were I really liked the way they did the touches. This was pretty great. The animation, especially when they did that whole whole shifting of the worlds, because this idea is to literally introduce the idea of the multiverse that there's an infinite number of universes is between one like. You know, why there's one universe you want to eat, there's another that's not that, that you have that you eaten yet, and there's one that hasn't been eaten at all. You know, you know, it's basically the idea of the multiverse. It's definitely very good. Right? If you guys seen Inception, you know how they change the room shifting your perception. Inception is a lot like that, right, and they do it more than once. So, uh, however, this is to get a, you a feel for the movie. Hey, okay, Doctor Strange is like Ant Man. It's a it's to introduce the character, uh, but gives it his own feel. Uh, you know, then they have, then they have him do this, do this, become this hero, and then give him his own bit, and then then he'll come back later you know, for a much bigger role. We we'll get to see some other Doctor Strange characters from the comics, like Walt, um, Baron Mordo, oh no, the Ancient One. It's pretty nice, uh, the way they did it. It was pretty good, pretty good. I really like the overall presentation of it. And this is to show how Doctor Strange became the such. Before that, he was a very, very arrogant and cocky doctor. The, the kind of guy that you, kind of would, the guy that will help you, but the, the kind of also make people like step on them and make them look down and pathetic while doing it. And then he gets to an accident and he definitely and he spirals out of control. You know, he goes rock bottom, trying to be desperate to make sure he becomes a doctor again to heal his hands and the world, which is pretty hard for him. Hard for him, you know, overall. But he can't. But he, in order for him. And to change, he has to accept change. He has to accept that there's a possibility beyond his imagination. Basically, he has to accept that there's a world beyond what you think. Hey, there's a world of magic. There's a world of mystery. There's a world, world of mysticism. That's and that's the only way he can truly accept becoming who he is and becoming the next, next and I mean, a true great sorcerer, the next sorcerer supreme, if you will. Now, uh, that's uh, be as it may. It was definitely a good, good movie. Hey, you can. You, there's some things you can hate. You some things you can like. And there were jokes, very good jokes, bad jokes. Oh, so you know, oh, you get to see, see some other characters from camp comics like Night Nurse. There's more than one Night Nurse in overall. No, not just the one from the Netflix series that you guys watch. Not for, not just the one from Netflix. There, are, there's more than one Night Nurse. As you know, oh, definitely cameos. Oh, Easter eggs is pretty good. Uh, the Coca Levitation, I Agamotto. Uh, I say watch the movie, give it a like, cause, you know, watch, because it's a, it's a Marvel movie, it's, it's one of the next steps in the Marvel set, and they already have, 
how I have a cameo for one of, for when that's when Doctor Strange is gonna show up next. The next movie is probably be is Thor Ragnarok, which is gonna come out next year. Here along with Spider Man Homecoming and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. You know, it's a it's a it's a good feel. You can see the idea, see how the way they do it. One of the things I don't like is that there were times where they did things to the comics, but they would deviate from it. Like deviate as in I mean, they would show you things that and that you know from the comics, but didn't show, but didn't, but then they didn't what you call give you certain things. Like for example, oh Dormammu, oh he's supposed to be a big bad guy. You you, spo you expect that in a movie he would look like like what you're supposed to look like, but but he doesn't. Like he's supposed to be be this all powerful demonic figure, but he doesn't look like that mostly. And the way and the way they made him look out, it kind of, it, it, at first it made him look like you confused him with Thanos. I was trusting you'll get that reference later. Later, you know. Anyway, the sur the movie was good. I really liked the story overall. It's something you gotta consider. Yeah, it's a choice if you wanna watch it, but it's a good movie overall. Uh, you may like it, you may hate it. I don't care. It's your opinion. Hey, but give it a watch. It's a it's a, more, it's a good bad. And like I said before, it's like Ant Man. It shows you the whole the origin story and the presentation of you know, of the character, uh, but gives him his own spin and all of his own story. All right, so they can show. So they can build him up and present him later for the next big Marvel movie, like a cameo, like how they did with Ant Man in Civil War. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's something you gotta consider, cause the these, cause they got, cause they're still working, cause over at Marvel they're still working on what they gotta do next. They already filming Spider Man Homecoming. It's still doing, it's still doing well, but they haven't present. They don't know if they're gonna use him for Infinity War. And the same with Doctor Strange, and Captain Marvel, Black Panther, all that is still on, is still on a roll. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thank you. This is Solomon Alfie. My latest review of Doctor Strange. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thank you. I'm out. Peace. Bye.